What's going on guys, it's Valence and back to the video and today I have a super exciting video for everyone that has problems with Cyberpunk 2077 on their PCs. So since the launch of this game, a lot of people have been having issues with this game, running the game, there's a lot of performance, there's a lot of bugs. But before you guys run out and upgrade your CPUs or GPUs, I have a solution for you guys. So you guys might have been looking all over YouTube for a tutorial on how to boost your FPS. Don't worry guys, this is a no BS video and I'm not gonna be showing you guys some weird window settings or lowering your graphics settings in the game because I think everyone knows that you can lower your graphics settings in Cyberpunk. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to edit the files of Cyberpunk to increase your frames in the game. So this method was originally found by a Reddit user which develops in, in C Sharp. So what he did was look through the configuration files and he actually found that Cyberpunk shipped with a wrong version of a config file. And today I'm going to be helping you guys walk through the whole process on how to edit the file and make it work with your PC specs. So before we start, I'm not responsible if your game crashes or something happens. Just make sure you guys make a backup of the file before you guys do anything. So now let's jump into the video. So first off, you guys need to locate the file location for your Cyberpunk 2077. So on screen, there's gonna be some text to show you guys where to find the Steam version, the Epic Games one, and the Galaxy one. So once you guys have located your Cyberpunk folder, open it up, go to Engine, Config, and then you're gonna see this file called memory underscore pool underscore budget dot CSV. So I have PyCharm installed on my computer and that's why it has this weird icon, but for you guys it might be a blank white file. So to fix this, I'm going to be having a link in the description below. You guys can download Microsoft Visual Basics. This is a free software for coding, but in my case, I'm going to be opening it with PyCharm. I'm not sure if this works with Notepad, but I, I would just recommend you guys use a proper coding software. So we're going to open this up. So now that we have it open, you guys are going to see pool root, pool CPU, pool GPU, flexible default, all these different things. You guys don't have to worry, I'm going to be holding your guys' hand through all of this. So if you guys look at pool CPU, this is in megabytes. So we're going to be changing this to a different value, but in gigabytes. So pool CPU stands for the amount of memory which the game's going to be using from your RAM. So in my case, it says 1536 megabytes of RAM on PC and that doesn't seem like enough RAM. So for example, if I have eight gigabytes of RAM, this is what we're gonna be typing. We're gonna be erasing this value and we're gonna type it eight gigabytes GB. So if I do have eight gigabytes of RAM, I'm gonna type in eight gigabytes. If I have 16, we're gonna type in 16. And if we have 32 or 64 and so on. So in my case, I'm gonna be typing in 16. I would recommend you guys leave a little bit of RAM for your computer just to process stuff in the background. So if you guys have 16 gigabytes of RAM, maybe put like 12 or 13 or 14, like, like a weird number. You guys could do that if you guys want, or you guys can just go all out and put the maximum amount. So pool GPU right over here stands for the amount of VRAM the game is going to be using. So right now the game is only going to be using three gigabytes of VRAM. So if you guys have a GTX 1060 3 gigabyte, for example, this is this will be your max that you guys can use. But if you guys have a 1080, a 3090, something like that, you guys will have so much more VRAM, and it'll make it so that the game uses the resources of your PC so much better than before. So in my case, I'm gonna be typing in 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So now that I typed in 12 gigabytes, this is all that we're gonna be changing in this file. All you guys have to change is pool CPU and pool GPU. Once you guys have finished that, go to file, save, and click on OK. You guys can replace the file or save it as something new and also make sure to have a backup. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a short video, a no BS video. I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, smash that like button, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.